Hello everybody, this is Noreen from Joy of Cards and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and welcome to my YouTube channel, yay! For more of my Stampin' Up! card videos, please click the subscribe and the little bell and you'll be notified when my videos release. So, we are going to be doing amazing phrasing and I'm going to do, I'm going to show you five cards and we're going to make that last one, so stay till the end. But the first thing I do when I have any kind of new set is I stamp it out. Now you will need a stampin' pad because these are the clear stamps. And on the bigger ones, like Woohoo, Oops, Amazing, and Hey, you might wanna go ahead and use a Stamparatus. Now I did these here in black just as my beta, and they were okay, but if you really want it to be solid, you need to do a Stamparatus. But let me show you. So I went through all these phrases and I put them on an Excel spreadsheet and I put the phrasing together. So these are all the ones that are just the stamp, uh, just straight. And then these are ones where I took part of the, the saying in the stamp, like I'm, I could just take I'm and then put something else next to it. So I mixed them up here and I came up with a bunch of phrases. So these are the ones where it's just the full stamp together in some kind of combination. So together, woohoo, together you're doing amazing, together you've got this, woohoo, good looking, woohoo, it's going to be amazing, woohoo to you two, woohoo to another year, woohoo, you did it, woohoo, you're doing amazing, you are amazing together, that's three stamps together, you are amazing, you are good looking, you are together. Hey, or not hey, but you did it. Good looking, you did it together. You're doing amazing. Another year together, good together. Hey, miss you, hey, sorry, hey son, which sounded silly, but I actually kind of used it. Uh, hey you, you too, hey you're good. I'm good looking, I'm good. Hey, you're doing amazing, that's three. Hey, you've got this. I'm the worst, I miss you. I'm the worst, so sorry. <laughs> I'm the worst to you two. There are a couple of them that are a little snarky and I actually almost made one and I didn't. Um, I'm the worst together. It's going to be amazing. Oops, so sorry. Oops, you did it. So sorry to you two. Sorry you are together. That was kind of funny. To another year together. Together around the sun. Together is going to be amazing. Together, oops. Amazing together. Amazing you did it around the sun together good looking together hey good looking i hey i miss you hey i'm the worst hey to another year together hey to another year hey woohoo to another year hey woohoo to another year together hey you are amazing hey you did it i'm the worst sorry it's going to be good it's going to be it's going to be the worst that's another snarky one looking good or looking amazing oops sorry so good, so amazing, so you did it, so good to be you. Now, these are going forward, these are actually using parts of a stamp, which actually was really easy. Um, so, I mean, they're, they're not really linked. So it was good, it was really um, not all that difficult to do it. Um, so good to be you, so good to be together, so good to be together another year. Sorry to you too. Sorry you are the worstest. That <laughs> look, I I almost did it on one of the cards. Sorry you are together. That's another snarky one. The worst together. Another kind of funny one. Together another year. Together you are the worst. That's a, to your best friend, I guess. <laughs> Woohoo! It's going to be good. Worst year. You are so, and it should have been good. Uh, you are the worst. You two are amazing. You two are the worst. You are, you're doing another year. Oops. You're doing good. You're doing the worst together. You're doing the worst. You're doing good together. So there are a whole bunch of phrasings that you can do. So let's go ahead and look at my first card. Here's my first card. And this one, you do have to use the Stamparatus. And the stamp I'm using is Rays of Light. Now, with phrasing, what you do is you just use your arsenal of stamps. So go through what you've got to put something together. So I use Rays of Light on my Stamparatus and I used a blending brush. So 
you can stamp, I guess, the yellow, but go ahead and use your blending brush. And this is Melon Mambo. And that's how I made the rays. And then the um, sentiment tag, I use stylish shapes here. And the go-to greetings is on the inside because, I mean, this thing is crazy good. I mean, they've got three sizes of happy birthday, thank you, thinking of you, just a note. There's a tiny little hello. But this was really cute inside. And I use So Saffron Basic White. And this is Melon Mambo. So, and there are, these are dimensionaled up. So this is card number one. Here's card number two. Now this is just a basic black five and a half by four and a quarter. All, in fact, all my cards are five and a half by four and a quarter. All the cards, dimensions, and all the products I'm using for the cards are in the description of the video. So click on the show more or the little arrow thing and everything will pull up. If you don't see a whole bunch of stuff, you need to hit on something else to make it all pop up because everything's there for you. But I am using hand penned for the background. I wanted, I really wanted something black and white. I also, I, I didn't stamp this one and this is from the new mini catalog, Christmas Banners. And I thought this would be great on amazing phrasing. So I went ahead and used that one. And then I had, of course, to use the um, Christmas banner dies, so I cut it out. Now, what I did do kind of different on this one, this is not dimensional. This is using foam adhesive sheets, and these things are gr great. Now, the best way to do it, now th this one wasn't too intricate, so I did stamp it out, and then I cut out this, and then I put them together, but that's not exactly the best way to do it. You probably should measure out a piece of the sheet, put your basic white on top of it, I'll measure it out and then die cut it. That's the easiest way, especially if it's really intricate. I got lucky, so, um, but I went ahead and used the sheets and it just does a much better job than dimensionals. And then of course, the red rhinestone basic jewels. I don't know what I'm gonna do when they retire these. Uh, these I use all the time. If you want a, uh, a bling that you're gonna constantly use, this is the one. And then on the inside, I went ahead and took the um, scalloped contour dies. You'd think I would know that by looking at it. And just made a sentiment tag here. I used a hand pen on the inside and I colored um, one of the flowers. Now I used um, the Stampin' Rights. So I used Real Red and I used Parakeet Party on that. Now uh, you can use the Stampin' Blends. I just kind of like to use the Stampin' Rights because um, you've got a finer tip. Now, if you're a demonstrator, you should probably get the whole set because I use these all the time uh, or a super hobbyist because they sell them all, but you can buy just the in color ones in a little five pack. So you don't have to buy the whole thing if you don't want to. But this is card number two. Here's card number three. Now, remember, if you are a first time subscriber, like, subscribe, put in the comments that you would like to win the demo card. I give away the cards. I don't want them around. I have 50 million cards. So you have to put, I want, I would like to win the demo card and you have to put your email address. I can't talk to you without an email address. But anyway, so um, here is card number three. And what I did here, this DS paper is Pretty Prince. And actually the green is also Pretty Prince. It's the backside of one of the sheets there. I just like the two colors together. Now you can't really tell maybe on the video, but I did use an embossing folder on the green. I used Cascading Ruffles. Now, if you're using a 3D embossing folder, what you do is you take a little, take your, your paper and get a little uh, spritzy thing. So spritz it with water, your paper with water. And then you're gonna use the last plate in your die cutting machine. You're gonna put your paper inside the embossing folder and you're gonna take the 3D embossing folder plate and put it through, nothing else. So just the template, this, this on top, run it through. The part number for the 3D embossing plate, I use it on my Sizzix and it works, is in the description of the video. And all my descriptions for all the supplies will have a link and you can click on it. You can place a direct Stampin' Up order. Also, I have non-Stampin' Up links in there, like for my glass here, for all the magnets, 
um, that I put my dyes on for, for a bunch of things. And it actually helps me support my business. When, whenever you click on like my Amazon link, even if you don't buy anything, I get a little uh, kickback if you order anything on Amazon within 24 hours. So remember me for Prime Day, which is coming up here. So anyway, so I used a 3D embossing folder there. And then the, what I needed here because we're using phrases is a big element. So I went through my arsenal and I went ahead and I stamped hand penned and I also used the die. And then what I did for the, um, the coloring, this is mint macaroon and daffodil delight. And when I stamped this, when I um, went ahead and lined up all its little pieces here is I put it in the ink, I stamped off once and then I uh, stamped the middle. So they're not like overpowering colors here. And then I dimensionaled that and then my sentiment tags, because you, you're gonna need sentiment tags. I grabbed from soft or uh, potted succulent dyes. So whenever I'm ordering stamps and dyes, I look for things with sentiments on it because I can always use a sentiment die. And then the bling here is glossy dots assortments on the, the yellow. And then on the inside, I just used the same pretty prints and basic white and stamped in You're Amazing and that was it. So this is card number three. Here's card number four. Now I only used one of the stamps from here, but that's okay. You can pull whatever and make any kind of card. So I've got a Knight of Navy base and then I took this really pretty butterfly paper here, the butterfly kisses. And it's so cute. And I'm so glad I ordered it because I don't think I ordered the, the stamp that goes with it, but the paper was so pretty. And you definitely want a lot of paper in your arsenal because y you'll just make your life so much easier. So I went parakeet party, butterfly kisses. And of course, I use Brilliant Wings and I just die cut them out in the paper, which is Hues of Happiness again. And I just put the die in between the two changing colors here and it really made a pretty effect with the butterfly. And I backed it up because this die uh, set actually has two. So you've got your butterfly, which I did. And then this is one big die but you cut them out and they're all individual. So I put those two together and, and mounted it. And then also I used this tag from Holly Berry Dyes. This is in the new mini catalog. So what does it have? It has two sentiments in it. So you know I, I'm gonna like this. So, um, and then inside I just put part of the DS paper and fresh Frieza, basic white, little bit of the DS there. And then on the front here, I put fun flower resin shapes. So, so the little flowers here. So um, this is card number four. Finally, here's card number five and we're gonna make this one. And I had to do one where it was just all the words. So, I mean, you gotta do that, right? So this is just a basic black five and a half by four and a quarter. Now, if you can tell here, I am using the new real red and white glimmer paper. So this is really pretty. So you got your red and you got your white here. So they finally came out with this in the new mini catalog. So I had to use it. And then I took a piece of that glimmer paper and cut it four by five and a quarter. Now on this card, I forgot until the very, very, very end that I forgot to cut out the middle of that glimmer paper. Cause guess what, you know, it's not cheap. So I took my rectangle stitched frames, the third largest one and cut that out. So I can use this on another project. I'll go ahead and just stick it back into my little folder here. Now remember these folders, the bigger folders, the magnets, everything, they're in the description of my video. There's an Amazon link. I am an Amazon affiliate. I'm totally checked out. It is totally safe to click on all of my links, uh, either my Stampin' Up! links or my Amazon links. So um, anyway, so I went ahead and cut that out and let's go ahead and snail it on the card. Now I'm gonna use my silicone craft sheet. If you don't have one of these, <laughs> there's a link in the description of my video get one. They are the silliest thing to get, but they're the most amazing. Like I can stick this on here. 
won't stick. I can put dimensionals on here. I can mix colors on here, obviously. I can glue on here with uh, liquid glue. It is essential, 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 essential uh, tool. So I'm gonna put my frame here on like so. Now I'm gonna skip to the inside and we'll do the front last. So I'm gonna grab a piece of real red. This is four by five and a quarter and put it on like that. And now I've got my white, which is three and a half by 4.75. Now I'm gonna take my little scrap of the uh, glimmer paper, and this is like, I don't know, an eighth of an inch by four. And I'm gonna put it right on the side. And the reason why I did it over here is actually the glimmer paper was gonna be bigger and I cut it down on the smaller side and I had this little piece and it's like, oh, I can put that on the inside. Now for the stamping here, we're gonna use the Stamparatus. So let's flip over to that. Now, in order to get this nice red color here, we will have to use the Stamparatus because the amazing, it really, you really need to use it. Otherwise it's not gonna uh, possibly come out solid. So. I'm gonna grab my clean <laughs> stamps here. I had to clean them real quick. And we are going to lay this out first. Keep them away from the magnets here and close it up. I always keep my stamp box underneath the plate here to stabilize it. Now I'm gonna use my real red, but I'm gonna use a Stampin' Spot. This will be in the description of the video. Uh, what you do is you take a refill ink, these are white when you get them, and you fill them up. These are great for the Stamparatus so you don't get your whole plate dirty. So I'm going to use it, and I did just ink it, so let's see how well I did. And go like this and pulled up very slowly. Sometimes when you first ink it up, it'll grab that paper and move it. So just be careful. So I'm gonna stamp it a few times here and that's good enough. So that's how you do the inside stamping. Now, before I put this in there, I had something on my plate. I'm gonna take one of these little rubber erasers here and it'll come right off. I'll uh, put a link in my video for these too because these are a lifesaver. Just in case you get um, tape on your cutter or anything, it'll just take it right off. So now let's do the front. I've got my Stamparatus out here. I'm gonna take a piece of Hues of Happiness. This is a great um, DS paper to use for just words because it doesn't have a lot going on but it has some different colors and stuff too. So I kind of really liked it. Now, before I did my card, just like this, what I did is I took some copy paper and just kind of played around with it first to see what I liked. And you can see I'm just stamping it here because, you know, I'm gonna use the Stamparatus so it looks better. But I played around with a lot of different things. And when um, I did this, I thought it needed something kind of decorative. So. I took Mary Snowflakes. And here's where I made a big mistake. Mary Snowflake is retired. So you can't get this. I, I goofed. Usually I pull all the retires out of my stuff and this one slipped through. Now, if you wanna buy this from me, great. Uh, email me, Noreen at joyofcars.com and I'll sell you this. It's $10, so it's no big deal. Now, it goes with stitched snowflakes and for whatever reason, I don't have it. Maybe it retired before the stamp did, I don't know. Uh, or maybe I do and it's just hiding in the mess called my craft room. So, but I use this one here. So if you're interested in buying this set, just email me. But uh, sorry, I don't generally do that. But you can use any kind of decoration that you want. Like I almost use these flowers here and I almost used this one here but I chose to use the one, of course, that's retired. But anyway, so I'm gonna take these and I'm going to place them where I think it looks the best. Now, these stamps here are the clear ones and this one from this set is not. So I can't put it on the same plate, but I can kind of go through and 
figure out where I want it. So I'm going to kind of sit here and you got to make sure you use clean stamps. If you use a dirty stamp, you're going to mess up your paper. So I'm just kind of laying this out how I think it should go and center it up here just like that. Now I'm going to take this one off because it has to go on another plate. And then I'm going to also move this one over a little bit. It's next to that magnet and then put it down lift it carefully so it doesn't pull that paper and then I'm going to take my stampin' spot again and I'm going to ink everything up and get this down and just keep inking it and inking it until you get the right one off so see I'm going to redo my hay in this one now the um, thinner lettering looks fine. Um, it's only the big ones that are solid that it doesn't come out right. I think when you have stamps that are like this, they're better to doing uh, they're better doing solid words or solid objects. But these clear ones, you got to use a stamparatus if you really want them filled in. If you don't mind that kind of a look, then you know that's fine. But um, yeah, I would prefer that they're completely solid. If it's supposed to be solid, it should be solid. So uh, I might do the O's and the bottom of the hay. Other than that, it looks pretty good now. I'm going to give it one more. And pull it up gently and just like that. So I've done that part. Now I'm going to be using the Merry Snowflakes. Like I said, if you want it, email me and I'll sell it to you. And I'll just put that in the middle and use my Stampin' Spot again. Like I said, much better than using an ink pad like this because it just gets all over your plate where these keep everything nice and clean. And I'll put that in the middle like so. And I'm going to give it another one here. Get it as dark as the rest of it, just like that. Now for this card, I went ahead and I put this up on dimensionals, but I actually think it would be better using the foam adhesive strips. So I went ahead and put them on here and I took all the tape off. See, look at this. I could put something down and it's not going to stick if I use my silicone craft sheet. So this is great. So I'm going to be using those strips instead of dimensionals and put this on and it looks a little higher. It looks actually better with these because they are a little thicker than a dimensional. So I would recommend doing this. And then the fun part, of course, is putting on the little blingies here. So I'll just bling this up. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know what I'm going to do when they discontinue these uh, uh, real red rhinestones. They are still in the in the annual catalog, thankfully. So I'm going to bling that up. And that is card number five. And here's all my cards. They're all very different. They're all using this. You can use your arsenal of your other stamps that you have and different techniques. And don't forget, if you're a first time subscriber, like, subscribe, put in the comments that you want to win a demo card and put your email. I can't talk to you without your email. So many people have won cards and they I'll, I'll reply and they never see it because there's not like a bell or something that alerts them that i reply back so anyway put your email in there and i'll mail, mail you out a card but that'll do it for me thanks bye